What he said yesterday was the public confirmation of the private reports of what he said behind veterans' backs. The harris Walls campaign issued a statement slamming Trump's comments, writing, Donald Trump knows nothing about service to anyone or anything but himself. We owe it to our service members, our country, and our future to make sure Donald Trump is never our nation's commander in chief. Joining me now is John Soltz, Iraq War veteran and co-founder of Chairman and co-founder and chairman of Vote Vets. I don't even have a question, John. I'm just going to let you respond to what Donald Trump said. Trump did it. I mean, he just completely changed the narrative. I mean, for for ten days they've been after walls and these little issues about you know debates on did he retire as a master sergeant or a sergeant major, and then Trump comes out there. Um, and does what he always does. He completely fumbles the football and demonstrates once again he doesn't understand our community uh, or the United States military. Uh, there's only 14 Medal of Honor recipients that are alive from Iraq or Afghanistan today. And uh, he sits there at a at a conference speaking to Shell Nadelson's uh, widow. And look, Vote Bets was the fifth largest super PAC for Democrats last cycle. What he's really trying to do is raise money from her. And uh, to try to raise a $100 million check he threw Medal of Honor recipients under the bus. He demonstrated once again he doesn't understand our military. Uh, but that's that's kind of his game, right? He uses the military to benefit himself uh, when in reality his real framework for it is, I don't want to go to Vietnam and I'm afraid to go to Vietnam. And that's where we get yeah. comments about people who serve being suckers or losers. So uh, absolutely par for the course, completely changes the narrative. Of course, this morning he sent out his public affairs NCO, J.D. Vance, to try to clean up his mess, and he actually stepped in it and made it worse. Yeah, here's J.D. Vance trying to do that. This is a guy who loves our veterans and who honors our veterans. I don't think him complimenting and saying a nice word about a person who received the Presidential Medal of Freedom is in any way denigrating those who received military honors. They're two different awards. Your thoughts on that? That, guy, that guy's a fraud, okay? That, that guy's a fraud because he, first he's a public affairs non-commissioned officer. That's great. Totally respect the service, but he's a fraud because any veteran that can stand with a man who's consistently disrespected, John McCain for getting shot down, Kizer Khan for defending his son's you know legacy at a speech, uh, calling veterans suckers and losers. Look, John Kelly's the source for it. John Kelly's confirmed this on the record. This is his chief of staff, and continually defending and trying to say that he didn't say these things. Then of course he goes out and trashes basically the Medal of Honor uh, so he can raise a super PAC check. And if you're going to be a veteran and you're going to go out there and stump for this guy, you have to ask yourself, are you a fraud? J.D. Vance is a fraud because he sold out every member of the military and every veteran in this country. And he sold his soul to someone who, you know, basically unleashed the biggest attack on this country in January 6th that we had seen since 9-11. It's absolutely a preposterous. And it makes me completely not like him, not just politically, but as a person.